Hey, I'm Amy and welcome or welcome back. And today was supposed to be a little bit of a haul, but there are quite a lot of mistakes as you could probably tell from the thumbnail. I really only have like two things to show you and both of them came to be, came to me by mistake. One of them is one that I was planning on having any in here anyways, but it's wrong. And the other one was a complete accident. So really, I was only gonna have one thing this month, but now it's two. Anyways, May is going to be a bigger haul, I promise. But let's start off with the vinyl. Every month I get a vinyl from VNYL, not sponsored, but you know, hey, vinyl, if you wanna sponsor me, I'm all for it because I love your service and I will talk about it all the time. However, I say that and I go into something kind of bad. I had picked, you can pick a vibe each month, and this month I had picked this vibe called Hashtag Everything Is Fine, and I would get this album from the Australian artist LT, and I was excited for that. I really, really liked the album when I previewed it on Spotify, and I was so excited for it. But then, and I'm not hating on this album, I like this album and I would keep it. I'm, I haven't opened it yet because I'm waiting to hear from vinyl if I need to send it back in exchange for the album that I actually ordered. But I got Amy Winehouse's Back to Black album instead. And if you have watched my hauls over the past couple months where I get a new vinyl, they always write you a little note that comes in the package with the vinyl. And the note was about the LT album that I had ordered, not Amy Winehouse. I don't know if it got mixed up because our names are the same. I don't know, but I have not opened this up yet, so I don't know what the vinyl looks like. If I keep it, I will show you guys in May. But yeah, for now I have this. It's not the same one that I had ordered, but you know, it's not a bad album. If you like Amy Winehouse, it's her greatest album ever, but I, yeah, I'm, I kind of wanted a different album, but I'm happy with this one if in the end I can't return it or get the album that I had actually ordered. And then the last thing is, this is something that I did not order, but I'm keeping anyways because it was my mistake and I actually am kind of okay with it, but I'm a member of the Disney Movie Club where you like buy so many movies. It's kind of like if you grew up in the 80s and 90s, the Publishers Clearing House and like those, I f the CD, not Publishers Clearing House. It's like when you order the CD and you get like five CDs for 99 cents, but then you have to keep buying them like every month. I did that like years and years ago and I finished both for Disney movies and I had finished my thing, so now I just keep getting discounts. I had like bought the exact number that I was supposed to, and I keep getting discounts, and each month you get like a featured title that you have to either decline or accept, and it'll order for you, but if you do neither, it'll automatically get sent to you. That's what happened for this one. I had thought I had declined it, but I did not, and I saw this mysterious charge show up on my card. I had no notification that this was being sent to me at all, and I decided, you know what, might as well keep it because it's the X-Men. So I, I'm not like the biggest X-Men fan, but I did enjoy the first X-Men. We watched it for the podcast. I love Hugh Jackman, you know, so why not have a little bit more Hugh Jackman in my life? And I think X2 is pretty good. I can't remember. But this is the Blu-ray DVD digital code combo pack, so it's pretty hefty. I mean, the cover, the cover and the back are exactly the same on this, on the O card as well as the packaging. But it's basically the Blu-ray and DVD of the first three X-Men movies: X-Men, X2, and X-Men: The Last Stand. And yeah, I mean, I've watched every X-Men movie in including New Mutants. I've seen like all of them, but we did do the first X-Men for the podcast almost a year ago and I enjoyed it and then it kind of spun me into a quarantine watching of all the X-Men movies. I do 
like kind of the newer like days of future past of course is fantastic i absolutely love that and i reference it a lot in my x-men animated series podcast that i do on patreon where i'm watching through pretty much two episodes every week of x-men animated series on disney plus and i reference days of future past in almost every episode i feel like but I reference these movies a lot in that podcast because this is my only frame of reference for the X-Men pretty much besides what I have heard from friends who are big X-Men fans. So yeah, I, I'm not like mad at this. I was just surprised and kind of upset. I was like, oh no, someone hacked into my Disney movies account, my Disney movie club account and bought something on my credit card. This was not cheap, not cheap at all. And I was, well, it's not like it was a hundred bucks. It was like $45, but I mean, which is kind of standard for a three disc Blu-ray and DVD set. But at the time I was very surprised because I was not expecting a $45 charge on my card. But God, I think that's, I think that is everything I have. I usually have Amazon affiliate links in the description. I think this is the only one I will put in there because it's the only one I'm keeping. And if I do end up keeping the Amy Winehouse album, I will put that in next week's when I show you guys the album, if I do keep it or if I exchange it. But thank you guys so much. Let me know what you guys got in the comments down below. I know this episode, this episode, this video has been a little bit haphazard and a little bit of a mistake and I probably look extremely tired because it's only 8.50 in the morning because I wanted to film this and edit it, edit it as soon as possible. But anyways, I don't know where I'm going with this. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's very weird and random and full of full of weirdness but thank you guys so so much and i'll see you guys what don't even remember my outro thank you guys so so much for watching i really truly do appreciate you whoever you are let me know here in the comments down below and let's be friends if you enjoyed this leave a like and subscribe if you're new because i love talking about movies tv shows filmmaking film history all that fun stuff and i'll see you next time bye